to the Ozarks. Well, we managed to string together a couple of pretty nice days here over southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. We made it into the 50s again this afternoon. 54 today in Springfield. Even areas to the north, which have been plagued by clouds and colder temperatures, managed to hit 50 this afternoon with a lot of sunshine helping to push those numbers through the 30s, 40s, and up to that 50 degree mark. This was our nice day. Now we've got to deal with some wet weather and eventually maybe some white weather tomorrow night into Thursday as snow moves across the area. Right now we're just finding some high cloudiness, but I think clouds will start thickening up towards sunrise. We've got our next storm coming together. Really the heart of this thing is going to be this feature right here. That's going to be swinging to the southeast across Oklahoma, southern Arkansas into Mississippi, and that will play a role in where the best snowfall potential is going to be in this pattern coming up as we work through Wednesday night into Thursday. Talking about the rain for tomorrow. It looks like we wake up to dry conditions. I'm not expecting wet weather impacting that morning drive into work. In fact, I think a lot of the areas looking at mostly cloudy skies, so there'll be some hints of sunshine maybe through the clouds. Uh, looks like clouds will quickly thicken up though here over over western Missouri and northwest Arkansas, and we're going to see rain trying to build into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. Areas off to the east though and northeast will hold on to mostly cloudy skies, meaning there will be at least some sun trying to work through that cloudiness. Temperatures in these areas are going to be warmer because it's going to be dry and we'll have those peaks of sunshine. Temperatures here are going to be colder, plus there's going to be a breezy southeast wind as the storm begins to develop. Overnight tonight, we're going to see those winds picking up. That's one of the reasons why temperatures tonight in most areas won't go below freezing. Our coldest readings will be off to the east. Our warmest readings off to the west. Here in Springfield, looks like about 35 or 36 for a low. For tomorrow, coldest readings are going to be over southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. This is where clouds thicken up fast, and this is where the rain moves in faster as well. Uh, looks like 41 for a high in Joplin, 44 in Springfield, but off to the east, check it out, Fort Leonard Wood, 50 for a high tomorrow afternoon. Then tomorrow night, I'm going to be watching the thermometer very closely because upstairs, as the storm intensifies, it's going to cause the air aloft to get colder and become supportive of snow. But the temperatures at the surface have to catch up to that process before the snow actually makes it all the way to the ground. And I think that will happen sometime around mid to late evening Wednesday night. So I will be watching especially the higher terrain areas to see a changeover first, and then that will spread and blossom across the rest of the area with much of the area, if not most of the area, looking at some snow uh, after midnight uh, into the morning hours on Thursday. Temperatures also be very critical here because I think once we see that change over to snow, it's going to have a tendency to want to drive temperatures down to the freezing mark. And the closer we can get to freezing or if we can hit freezing, it's going to be a lot easier to accumulate snow. Plus, the storm coming through at night at least the front end of it will help with accumulations as well. Uh, as far as the rest of Thursday, the snow should gradually taper off as we get into the afternoon. And you can see temperatures don't get really too warm. In fact, they don't change much over the morning lows. Looks like about 35 for a high here in Springfield Thursday afternoon. As far as snow totals, I'll tell you, this is going to get uh, this is likely going to get changed a little bit here over the next 24 hours as we get closer to this event. But right now it looks like the best chance for accumulating snow and higher accumulations is going to be here over northwest Arkansas, east over through uh, Marion and Baxter County, maybe into Fulton County, and then north across the state line here into south central and southwest Missouri. Generally near and south of high six, Highway 60 is where I think we have the best shot at maybe a few inches of wet snowfall. As you move further north, I think your chances for measurable snowfall really drop off once you get north of a Stockton to eminence line. As far as road impacts. There could be some slushy spots where we get that snow uh, early in the day on Thursday, but I think as the day wears on, we're just going to be looking at wet roadways. Cold pattern follows. Lots of clouds, too, through the weekend. Lows in the 20s, highs only in the 30s. There could be some snow flurries in there at times as well. Temperatures trying to get back into the 40s by Tuesday. Okay, and this is just a snow event for us this time. No freezing rain. This mm -hmm. is not going to be an ice storm. Uh, this is really almost purely going to be snow. Okay. Maybe a little bit of sleep, but mostly snow. That's always exciting. Mm -hmm. Jamie, thanks. Coming up here in our news.